Hello, this is Miss Pat from San Luis Public Library. This week in Science Scouts, we're going to learn about the different layers of the soil. Our story this week is Carl and the Meaning of Life by Deborah Friedman. Okay. And this is Carl. Carl was not a bird. Carl was not a bear or a beaver or a fox. Carl was an earthworm. He lived underground, moving, always moving, bur burrowing, tunneling, digesting dead leaves, feeding and casting, turning hard dirt into fluffy soil. Day after day. Why? Asked a field mouse gathering seeds. Why do you do that? Why? Carl did not know why. But he needed to find out now. So Carl stopped making fluffy soil. I'll be right back, he told the field mouse. He spotted a rabbit. Maybe she knew. Why do I do what I do, he asked her. Oh, goodness, dear, she said. I don't know. I do what I do for my babies. But Carl did not have babies. A fox appeared. Carl turned to the fox. Why do I do what I do? Asked Carl. Who do I do it for? For whom? Replied the fox. Alas, my meal awaits. I am here for the hunt. But Carl did not want to hunt. Why are you talking to a fox? Cried a squirrel. Carl was startled because the field mouse is waiting and he wants to know why I am here for. The squirrel declared, I'm here to plant trees. Trees are where I sleep. But Carl could not sleep, not high in a tree and not without an answer for the mouse. He pushed on. And on, hours turned into days until the soil was no longer fluffy. The ground around Carl turned barren and dry while he continued to search. <sighs> but the birds had flown off to find grasses and fluff. The bear trundled the way to look for berries. Soon, there was nobody left to talk to. What about me? called Carl. Right, there he is. The clouds were silent. So was the air. I will never find out, he sniffed. Then Carl heard his sniffle echo followed by a squeak. I can't find any grubs, a voice cried. It was the saddest ground beetle he had ever seen. Carl peeked under a stone. No grubs. Then he poked at the dirt. It was hard, like rock. Where was his fluffy soil? Suddenly, Carl knew what he had to do. I'll be back, he promised. For hours, into days, weeks, into months, Carl munched, digested, left castings, and tunneled, and turned that hard dirt back into rich soil. <gasps> you 
made my seeds grow, said the mouse. Clover blossomed once again, and the rabbit came back with her kits. The squirrel returned to plant new trees. The fox was lured by the hunt. All of them able to do what they do. How? Well, why not ask Carl? Because if Carl didn't make that dirt good and it was just rock, they all disappeared, right? So we're going to find out. Besides an earthworm need, uh, needing an earthworm to make good dirt, we're going to find out what the layers of the dirt are. Okay. All right, so what is soil? And you guys have probably heard the word soil and dirt. So soil is a mix of minerals and water and air and organic matter. Organic matter is the dead stuff, okay? It could be dead leaves or dead grass. Right, that's the stuff that usually dies on top of the ground. That's the organic matter, right? It forms on the top of the land. It's called the skin of the earth. And that's where we can get plant life, which is necessary for all life on earth, right? We need plants to make the air that we breathe, the oxygen that we breathe. So we need good dirt, not just sand, good dirt, soil. Regular dirt is usually the stuff that gets underneath your fingernails. It could be soil. You're playing, if you're putting plants into pots and you got that black soil underneath your fingernails, that's dirt. It's not enough there to really grow anything. You can't put a seed up under your fingernail and grow anything, right? So that's usually dirt. The stuff that's smeared on your face because you went like this after you got it on your fingers, that's gonna be dirt, not soil. The soil is actually where we can grow stuff. And you don't usually have enough on your face or enough in your fingernails to grow anything. That's just dirt. Where does it come from? Okay, where does soil come from? So it comes from rocks, big rocks, kind of like these big giant boulders right here. Okay, and it's due to weathering. Weathering will make these big rocks into smaller rocks, and then these rocks into even smaller rocks until they turn into sand. And when that sand is kind of mixed with the dead leaves and the dead, um, dead grass and dead bugs, and even the stuff that comes out of the dead bugs, okay, that's gonna make the black soil, right? The good soil, because again, sand like beach sand doesn't really grow a lot. Okay, so big rocks get made smaller by the water. Could be from the rain, right? Could be from waves, wind, ice, plants, animal, gravity, right? They, they all split these giant rocks, see? This one has the ice getting in and then it splits it apart. Okay, the animals digging holes in the ground, just like Carl did. Okay, that makes big stuff into littler stuff. He, he took that hard rock dirt and he made it into nice fluffy stuff that he could grow through. This is a tree growing through a middle of a rock and it's gonna break that in half. Okay, so that's weathering. Now, water can cause rocks to break down, which is weathering, right? Big, into itty bitty little ones. It can also move the broken rocks. Right? When it moves the rocks, it's called erosion. Broken rocks can get smaller as they move and then they get dropped or deposited away from their parent rock. The parent rock is the one they started as. So this one here on the hill, he's the parent. He's the mommy or daddy rock, okay? And the water and gravity and everything is making him break down. But now as it rains, all these little rocks are falling down. This is erosion, okay? So while Breaking it down into little pieces is weathering. Moving it is gonna be erosion. And it's gonna get dropped down over here, not near its mommy and daddy rock, right? Not near the parent rock. There are usually three main soil layers. Sometimes like this picture will show you it's an O1, they'll call it, uh, that's just where all the dead stuff is. But for what we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about the A layer, right? That's the top soil layer. It has the O layer with it. Okay, that's usually, again, all the dead stuff. Right? That It's dark in color because of the dead leaves and the dead bugs. It has the minerals. This is where the plants are gonna grow. Okay, layer B is the subsoil. It's a little lighter in color. Usually it has less minerals and more clay. 
And then C is going to be the parent material. It's where the big rocks and the little rocks are. Okay, not a lot of minerals. So what Carl was doing at the end, remember when he went looking for those grubs for that beetle, he had these giant rocks. It was just hard dirt. And then the weathering began to break it down instead of this big hard rock, broke it down into itty bitty pieces. And then some dead stuff started blowing on top of it. In Carl's case, when they talk about him casting, it's pretty much him going poop in the rocks. Okay, this stuff is going to break down. And then leaves are going to go there and are going to blow from the wind. Seeds are going to blow there and things are going to start growing. Okay, and here's your topsoil, which is the A level. Your B is the clay. And all the way down, if you dig far enough, you're going to hit just the rock. So what we're going to do this week, when you guys come in, you're going to get a cup and you're going to get a bag. Now, I think you guys can see in this bag, we got some big rocks, right? And that's going to be our parent rocks. That's going to go at the bottom. We're going to pretend we don't have any erosion. We're going to take those out. Okay, I only have two. We're going to put them in our cup. And it doesn't matter how you put them in. So I have, those are my big rocks, right? That's going to be level C. Well, so is this. Okay, I still have little rocks. Now I don't have to put all of this in. You can put in whatever you want. Okay. Okay. And there's my level C. I still have some in the bag. Okay. And then you're going to have another bag. All right. Mine is a big bag because I haven't broken it up yet for yours. You're going to have clay. Now, there will be a difference between the clay and the topsoil. Okay, and I'm not gonna mix those because it's very hard to unmix those. So what you'll do is you'll put a little bit of clay in there. Remember, this is level B. Not really good growing dirt. Okay. And yes, yeah, some of it's gonna go down because it's gonna fill in the cracks. All right, so I want you to see you know, it has fallen down and that's fine. It's gonna fill in the cracks. If I went like this, it's really gonna fill in the cracks, but I kind of want you to see some of the stuff around it. And then you're gonna take your topsoil. The giant chunks. Now this is a good, good dirt. This is a uh, Carl's fluffy soil. Okay, and you want at least an inch. Okay, so you can see the different layers. All right, here's my big rocks, my little rocks. That's level C. Whoops. Here's level. B is my clay, and this is the good dirt, right? Now, you'll have two things. You'll have a seed, and you'll have a little spider plant. The little spider plant kind of looks like, looks like a little green spider. Um, it won't have roots, but all you're going to have to do is make a little hole in here, okay, with your finger, and you put the plant right in, move the dirt a little around it, and keep it wet, just a little bit, doesn't have roots, but if you keep it wet, it'll keep it'll start growing. Now, what I have here is a little seed, and you'll also have a little seed. Okay, and I'm going to put my seed in here. I'm going to move my dirt over it. Now, the advantage of either one, and you can pick whether or not you're going to use the seed or you're going to use the plant. Okay, and again, a little bit of water because there's no hole on the bottom. Notice we didn't put a hole on the bottom. So you'll see if your water is down here. So you just wanna use a little bit of water. 
okay? Because we don't want it to block to, to back all the way up because you'll drown your plants. Did you know plants can drown, right? And seeds can drown. Um, that's one of the reasons that Carl and all his friends come up when the worms, when it rains outside, the ground is filling up with water, right? Because it hits these rocks and it can't go anywhere. So it backs up and it backs up where Carl is and all his friends and they're gonna drown if they stay under the water. So they all come up on top when it rains. Now, if they don't go back down before the sun comes out, they all dry up and then you end up with dead worms all over the sidewalk. Okay, but we don't wanna have the water back up. So watch your water. So you just wanna a little bit of water, okay? And put it in a sunny spot and it'll grow, okay? And you'll be able to watch the roots as they start growing. They'll start coming down here and you'll pretty much see them along the side. They might go into the clay a little bit, but they pretty much won't come down here because there's nothing down there unless you forget to water them. In which case, they're gonna keep coming down here looking for water. Okay, just like tree roots do. They're gonna go looking for water and they're gonna hope it's down there. So we don't really want the roots down there, okay? But this is gonna be levels of soil. These are your three main levels, okay? So I hope you enjoyed learning about that. Next time you're driving and you're going past, going through a road and you have these big hills on this side and the big hills on this side because they cut the road right through the middle. Look at the different levels of the dirt. Look at the different colors, okay? Because that's what this is. They went right through a mountain sometimes or right through a hill and they cut away so they could build the road. And you'll see those on the side of the roads, okay? So I will see you guys again next week. In the meantime, enjoy the weather.